I've got something special for you today. I've got this. What is this? It's the proof that humanity has advanced. That's what I'm gonna say. Uh, I, I dabbled in CNC machining a bit and I've touched and seen a fair bit of things machined in different ways, some worse, some better. And I can confidently say that this is the single most beautifully machined thing I have ever held in my hands. You're probably wondering what this is, why do I, why am I showing you this? This is made by a company called Manon Racing Products and it's an adapter to fit a trigger wheel onto the stock 4AGE crankshaft pulley. Now some of you that know my 4AG build are probably saying you already have that setup, you already have a pulley, you already have a trigger wheel. I will explain, give me a moment. Uh, first of all, MRP, if you don't know about them already, I did speak about them in some of my other videos, I mentioned them in my Iconic Engines 4AGE video. Uh, when it comes to the 4AGE engine, MRP, Manon Racing Products in New Zealand, is probably one of the best, if not the best, place for anything 4AGE on the planet. You need a 4AGE built, MRP's got all the parts, they got more than enough knowledge and experience and Whatever kind of build you need, is it turbo, is it crazy NA power, is it drifting, is it drag, is it, I don't know, time attack, whatever you need a 4AG build for, MRP's got you covered. There's a link to their site in the description, in the pinned comment as well. If you like the 4AG engine, check them out. I occasionally have wet dreams of their 4AGE builds. I have to come clean, you should know that too, and I'm sure many 4AG fans out there have occasional wet dreams of MRP stuff as well. So, embarrassing secrets aside, I'm gonna answer the question, why did I even get this? As you know, I have a solid... Actually, to fit this thing onto this heavy lump of rusty stock for a GE crank buoy, this needs to be machined. So. Uh, Let's go in the car, let's drive to my machine shop, let's get it machined, and I'll explain everything to you on the way. By the way, it's winter here. If somebody knows how to fast forward to spring, let me know. So if you have seen my 4AG engine build, you probably know that I already have a crankshaft pulley and trigger wheel setup. It's my Techno Toy Tuning Lightweight Crankshaft Pulley and Techno Toy Tuning Trigger Wheel and I really like that setup. It works, it's easy to install, you don't need to modify anything. It's a pretty affordable setup and to be honest, I love it. It's also very lightweight, which helps the engine spin more freely. But you also probably know about the big debate between solid crankshaft pulleys and dampened crankshaft pulleys. Engines produce these sort of vibrations when they, when they run and these vibrations can damage your engine. This is why the stock OEM crankshaft pulley, although you can not see it to be honest, has a little rubber piece in here that's designed to dampen these vibrations. And many people say that if you install a solid pulley on your engine over time, you're going to damage your engine and you're going to wear out your bearings faster and even your oil pump is at risk. So I have been driving my 4AG for quite some time now. I drove it the entire summer. I did a significant number of miles and I don't know exactly how much I think but a couple of thousand miles definitely and every time I drove it I drove it really hard. So far they have been zero issues. I have I don't have rod knock, thank god. I don't have any problems. Now, the deal is that I think I have noticed that my oil pressure has been decreasing a bit lately when I was driving it a couple of months ago last time. Now, this is entirely subjective because I do not have a proper oil pressure gauge. All I have is the factory oil pressure gauge, which is basically 
an indicator and it's anything except accurate. But I'm looking at it whenever I can and I think my pressure was dropping a bit. Now this may have been oil dilution because I do like to run my engine and my carbs a bit richer to avoid any sort of risks. So it might have been oil diluted by extra fuel. But also it might have been the vibrations undampened by my solid pulley that have damaged my oil pump gears that are, that are right there on the crankshaft. So they might have been worn out because of the vibrations and also my bearings might have been prematurely worn out because of the vibrations. So I have bigger clearances now and of course my oil pressure dropped. Now this is all an assumption. I have no idea whether this is true because I haven't opened up my engine. All I do is drive it. But I have decided to do something pretty ambitious. I have decided to end the debate on solid pulleys versus dampened crankshaft pulleys. And I want to do an empirical test. And this is why I have gotten the trigger wheel and OEM crankshaft pulley adapter from Manon Racing Products. I want to install it on my engine. But before that, I want to drive the current setup some more. I want to get a accurate AEM oil pressure gauge, the X-Series one that I'm going to install and I'm going to record my oil pressure with the current setup in all different scenarios. Hard driving, warm engine, cold engine, so on and so forth. I want to have a solid set of data that's going to show me what kind of oil pressure the engine has with a solid pulley after a number of miles. What I'm going to do then is I'm going to remove that. I'm going to remove my oil pump, I'm going to remove all of my bearings, both main bearings and conrod bearings, and I'm going to inspect them. We're going to see whether and what kind of damage was done, if any. We're going to inspect it, we're going to take a lot of photos, we're going to record everything. And then we're going to basically reset the engine. I'm going to put new bearings in it, I'm going to put a new oil pump in it, if the previous, if the previous one shows absolutely any sign of damage I'm gonna replace the oil pump as well and then I'm gonna install my MRP crank pulley trigger wheel setup and again I'm gonna measure oil pressure in different scenarios and then I'm also gonna measure oil pressure after the same amount of miles that I have done with the solid crank setup Wow, I cannot believe I said all of this in one go. But I think you get it. This is going to be a definitive empirical proof of how much solid crank boys, how much damage they do, if any, if they do damage, how much and what kind of damage do they do to the engine. Because we're gonna do the test on the absolute same engine with the absolute same tune. I'm not gonna touch anything. The only thing that's going to be different is gonna be the crankshaft pulley. Pretty cool, right? We're gonna have a track record and solid, irrefutable evidence. So, that's the plan, and this is basically episode one of the whole plan. And I'm gonna get this machine now, and then we're gonna go on from there. Okay guys, so we are done with the machining and that was fun to watch and it was also dead simple. Any machine shop on planet Earth can do that. Basically, all you gotta do is make the surface where the MRP adapter sits flat and you gotta make the inner diameter here of this part of the OEM crankshaft pulley 92.6 millimeters. That's it, that's all you gotta do and any old machine shop can do that and they probably won't charge you much because it's really simple work. So let me just get out of this parking lot and then I'm gonna tell you more. 
So when it comes to the trigger wheel kit from MRP as a whole, I have to say I really, I really, really like this thing. It's well made like anything MRP makes. It's high quality and it's also probably your most convenient and your most cost effective and your most time saving option to fitting a trigger wheel on the stock for AGE crankshaft pulley. It's a lot easier and it's a lot more convenient than having to fabricate something yourself and weld the trigger wheels and you know trial fit things and then fix them on later on and this and that. Honestly, just get one if you need a trigger wheel on the stock pulley. There's a link in the description. You can check it out, get it. It's affordable. It's a really good thing uh, you can buy if you need to do this sort of thing for your engine. Also, what I really like about it is the trigger wheel itself. As you can see, there's no missing tooth. If you're wondering why, it's because you get to choose which tooth is the missing tooth by grinding one of the teeth off. You basically make them go missing. And that's really convenient because on the engine you can install the sensor in a bunch of different locations and depending on that location it might be more convenient for you to be able to choose which missing tooth is you know the missing one and it might help your tuning later on than having a predetermined missing tooth so this is definitely a good idea from MRP and I have to say I although I'm no authority or anything approve it so what's next when it comes to this solid crank pulley versus dampened pulley face-off? Well, next we are going to be collecting data on the solid pulley setup and we are going to be recording oil pressures in different scenarios. We are going to take a look later on at the oil pump, at its you know health and at the bearings as well. And as you're probably able to tell, this is going to be a long-term process, a long-term test. It needs to be long-term because I want the conclusions that I get to to be definitive and irrefutable. And for them to be irrefutable, I need a lot of good, solid data. I'm trying to end the debate here and I have to have the evidence to back up my conclusions. So if you're interested in this whole little journey we're making, Welcome on board, stay tuned, and more will be coming soon. So, that's pretty much it for today. I hope you enjoyed watching this little video, and I'll be seeing you soon on the D4E channel with more fun and interesting stuff.